Okay, let's say we have a Poisson distribution. Okay, with parameter theta. Okay, so that's mean theta, ini maksudnya theta greater than zero lah. Okay. Then the support of X is the set of zero, one, two up to infinite. Okay, kalau Poisson, let's say kamu punya ni X equal to zero, one, two sampai infinite. Okay, support of X eh. So X range there from zero up to infinity. So, kalau point, probability mass function for Poisson, you will have exponential to the power minus theta, theta to the power x over x factorial. You can write in terms of exponential. Okay, so you have x ln theta. So, minus theta ln e. So, ln e is equal to 1. So, just minus theta minus ln x factorial. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, now we mesh with the Exponential case of the family. So, maksudnya exponential, you write down P theta kx plus Q theta plus hx. Okay, kita compare. We compare. So, now you have P theta is equals to ln theta. Your kx is equals to x. Your Q theta is equals to negative theta. Your HX is equals to uh, minus ln X factorial. Okay. So now, Poisson distribution is a member of regular exponential class with P theta is equals to ln theta. Q theta is equals to negative theta. Your kx is equals to x. Okay. So if you want to use, if you want to find the sufficient statistic, so that's me. Kita tambah jelah exponential summation eh. So this one you have your kx is equals to x. So that's me. Your sufficient statistic is y equal to summation k x i. So in this case. Your y1 is equal to summation si is a sufficient statistic. Since this one satisfy or this one, a Poisson distribution is a member of the regular exponential class. So why it is a member of the regular exponential class? So you check lah. First, your s uh, does not depend upon theta. Your, the, the support of x does not depend upon theta. P theta is non-trivial continuous function. So P theta is equal to ln theta. Your Kx is equal to x. So your K prime x is equal to 1. That's not equal to 0. So satisfying these three condition, a Poisson distribution is a member of the regular exponential class. Okay. So by the definition, the statistic Y1 using the factorization theorem. Okay. 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 By the factorization theorem, if we want to split this one, you can write down. Okay, kita, we can write down lah here. So we will have exponential. Okay, negative. Okay, you will have negative. Okay. So kita punya P theta tadi kita ada ln theta So ln theta summation xi minus n theta okay. And then you can split exponential negative summation ln xi Okay, so by the factorization theorem, so this is your g t theta, so this is your h x lah actually. So by factorization theorem, we find that our y1 equals to summation s i is a sufficient statistic for theta. Okay, so since it can be written in terms of regular case of exponential class.
Okey, sampai sini okey kan? Okey. Okay. Okey. Apa mau tak dengar? Eh, mau pula eh, mau. Okey, okey. Ya. Tak dengar suara you. Okey, ah. Uh, Okay, uh, so actually this one, example 2.14 name, we have a continuation like that. That's mean if you want to find uniqueness and so on. Okay. So before we proceed, uh, okay, eh, saya go through je lah ya. Eh. So nanti next week saya explain lagi lah, sekali lagi. Okay, this one, before this eh. Ni kamu tengok dulu, dia punya notation je lah ya. Eh. Okay. Just baca balik dia punya notes lah ya. Eh. So this one, if you have S1, S2, Sn, this one again regular case. So consider the statistic y equal to summation ksi. Eh? So that's mean ini sufficient statistic lah actually. So in other form, PDF or PMF of y also can be written like this. Same thing eh, benda yang sama cuma kita use different notation sikit lah eh. So you will have r y1 exponential p theta y1 plus nq theta. Okay y1 ni kau punya ni lah. Ini sorry. So this is your y1 eh, y1. Okay, exponential p theta, y1 plus nq theta. So this is your ry1. Okay, ry1 to it is more on your hx which is does not depend upon theta. Okay. So actually using this form, you can find your expected value actually. Ini eh. Expected value of y1, the formula. The formula is negative n q prime theta over p prime theta. So maksudnya you already have your Q theta, you find your Q prime, you already have your P theta, so find P prime and then substitute in the formula negative N Q prime theta or P prime theta, you get your expected value. Second, you can also use this one to find the variance. Variance, that means N over P prime theta, P double prime, Q prime theta, minus Q double prime, P prime theta. Okay, the formula, eh? so this is the formula. Uh, how you what, you can use the exponential case of the family to find the expected value and also your variance. Okay, this one. Okay, so kalau kita relate pada this theorem. Yeah, theorem eh. So theorem ni relate, just not mention this one je lah. Complete sufficient statistic for theta. So again, the first property fx theta be a PDF must represent a regular case of the exponential class. Okay, this one. Regular case of the exponential class. Okay, if by that definition, you can construct, you can find your y1, okay, is a sufficient statistic for theta. And the family is complete. If the PDF of fx theta you able to write it in terms of regular case of the exponential class and then you find your statistic y1 then by this theorem your family y1 is complete that's mean you don't have to show that expected yang tadi tu yang dulu yang kita buat tu expected value of ui equals to zero since we can we can write the fx theta in terms of regular case of the exponential class but if you are unable to write, for example, uniform distribution cannot be right in terms of regular case of the exponential class, you need to use definition to show that the family of y1 is complete. So definition, that's mean, inilah, expected value of ui equals to zero. But if you can show this one as a regular case of exponential class, and then find this y1 is sufficient statistic, and then by this theorem, the family is complete. Okay, then if x1, x2, xn is a random sample from a distribution of x, the statistic y1 is a sufficient statistic for theta and the family of PDF of y1 is complete. So by this, that is y1 is a complete sufficient statistic for theta. Okay, to theorem there. So you, it save your time lah. Instead of you showing the expected value of ui equals to zero, so you can write for certain PDF in terms of regular case of the exponential so check three conditions, satisfy or not. So if satisfy, you can find the sufficient statistic and show that it is a complete sufficient statistic. Okay. Okay. So again, eh? 
So if we are able to show that it's not complete, it does, we have a sufficient statistic, so now we will have a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator. So just to find a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator, the same properties show that expected value of phi y1 is equal to theta. So then your phi y1 is a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator of theta. Given that your PDF of fx theta, you can write in terms of regular case of the exponential class. You are able to find the sufficient statistic. And now we just show that expected value of phi y1 is equal to theta unbiased estimator. Then by the definition, your statistic phi y1 is, is a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator. Okay, kalau yang tadi, the previous one, you need to find your sufficient statistic, show that we have a complete family using definition, and then find the unique minimum variance unbiased estimator. So this one, just write in terms of regular case of the exponential class. Okay. So refer back to the example. Okay, we have already have this one. Okay, it is a regular case for exponential. Okay, kalau let's say we have P prime theta based on that one, we have one over theta. Q prime theta is equals to minus one. So using that definition tadi lah, formula tadi tu, we will have expected value of y1 is equals to n theta, whereas y1 is equals to n theta. So kalau let's say if you're not sure the formula, macam biasalah kita derive balik lah expected value of y1 using back your definition lah, theorem balik. Okay, show the expected value of y1 n theta, whereas y1 is n theta. So based on the theorem, the family of Poisson distribution is complete. Why? Because we are able to write in term a regular case of exponential. So that's why y1 equals to summation si is a complete sufficient statistic for theta. Okay, you want to find a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator? So just write down expected value of y1, which is n theta, okay? So you have expected value of y1 over n, so it gives you x bar. So again, this one is a unique minimum variance unbiased estimator of 